China, the biggest trading nation in the world. With a population of over 1 billion people, China is the fastest growing consumer market and will continue to be in great demand of energy. In these times of rapid growth, it remains a challenge to reduce China's dependency on fossil fuels. The environmental effects of a coal-based economy are inevitable and make it paramount to stimulate the use and development of sustainable energy sources. Despite its dependency on coal, China is the world's largest investor in renewable energy. Prestigious hydropower projects, vast windmill parks and wide fields of solar power panels illustrate the increasing importance of renewables in China's energy production. Additionally, it's exploring ways to utilize the unlimited and enduring energy sources of the ocean. Halfway across the world, some 8,000 kilometers west of Beijing, engineers in the low-lying country of the Netherlands have learned how to work the forces of the ocean. With a total length of 17,000 kilometers of waterworks in the Netherlands alone, the Dutch have grown experts in the implementation of highly advanced technologies in, on and near the water. Coastal engineer from the Netherlands, Kees Holzbergen, has been working on coastal waterworks for over three decades. Studying a map of the North Sea with his colleague, Rob Stein, he stumbled onto a potentially groundbreaking idea to harness the ocean's powers to our benefit. Now, the idea is actually born out of pure toeval. Because we were geborgen over a kaart van the North Sea. Toen ik aan mijn collega een sigaar vroeg, die zei, hier heb je hem. Je kunt zeggen, daar ligt een kaart met een sigaar erop. Maar je kunt ook zeggen, hey, dit is één op 100.000, een dam van een kilometer of tien lang. En we dachten, zou dat misschien een nieuw type getijenergie kunnen betekenen? Zo is Dynamic Tidal Power eigenlijk ontstaan. Dynamic Tidal Power is designed to generate electric energy from the kinetics of tidal water. A long dam of at least 30 kilometers perpendicular to the coast interacts with the tidal flow to create a hydraulic head, a barrier parallel to the coastline at the far end of the dam, giving it a T-shape, amplifies the head on either side of the structure. This hydraulic head, together with the shape of the tunnels, results in the acceleration of water that drives the many turbines in the dam. Marcel Stever is Professor of Coastal Engineering at the Delft University. He has done extensive research on tidal currents and sees in dynamic tidal power an interesting alternative to traditional tidal power. Ja, het uh, bijzondere van het uh, dynamic tidal power concept is dat het uh, ook gebruik maakt van het getij, maar niet door uh, de energie af te tappen in een uh, opening naar een baai of een estuarium, maar gewoon langs de kust. Areas with good potential for the implementation of DTP are relatively shallow and have tidal currents running parallel to the coastline. Numerous areas in Europe, as well as along the entire coastline of the Chinese mainland and the Korean peninsula, offer excellent locations. Building a 40-kilometer structure out in the open sea is a challenging task. Yet many projects of similar size went before. They show that anything can be built with articulated vision, appropriate aspiration, and the necessary skill and expertise. Met de onderdelen van dit plan hebben we hier in Nederland op alle punten ervaring. Op het gebied van kersons, op het gebied van turbines, op het gebied van de kennis van golven en stroom en zand. En al die kennis is gebundeld in de Power Group. 
the Power Group has all capabilities to successfully advise in an endeavour of this scale. The members of the consortium have expertise in immersion and coastal and waterways engineering projects. Collaborating members contribute expertise on the implementation of electric infrastructure, ecological conservation, urban planning, hydraulic innovation, and the construction and design of highly advanced turbines. The United Nations Industrial Development Organization and the prestigious Delft University of Technology play an important advisory role. Significant to making such a high level of energy production possible is the use of highly advanced turbines that are designed specifically for this purpose. They work with an extremely low head, a bi-directional, and have a peak output of 5 megawatts each. A dam of 40 kilometers in length can accommodate 2,000 turbines, corresponding to over 10 gigawatt of installed capacity, enough to supply millions of households with sustainable energy. In September 2012, representatives of the Chinese and Dutch governments signed an agreement to continue investing in the implementation of dynamic tidal power in China. By combining Chinese and Dutch expertise, the construction of a dynamic tidal power dam can be developed into an economically viable and environmentally sustainable investment. With the latest knowledge and technology, China sets itself up to achieve its objective of generating more than 15% of its energy from renewable sources by the year 2020. Dynamic tidal power in China. New tides for new generations. <laughs>